Welcome back to the program tonight. The Public Interest and Accountability Committee, PIAC, which monitors the use of petroleum revenue, says it is unable to report on the programs and activities undertaken with an amount of approximately 170 million US dollars disbursed to the annual budget funding amount, ABFA, for the first quarter of 2020. The ABFA is a portion of revenue, a petroleum revenue used to support government's budget. Now, in its 2020 semi annual report, the committee said it was also unable to provide an update on the status of unutilized and unaccounted for ABFA funds, which stood at 1.5 billion Ghana cities. Chairman of PIAC, Noble Wajah, joins me via Zoom to discuss this. I can't help but ask what is happening here. Explain to us what the challenge is. Hello? Can you hear me, Mr. Waja? I can hear you all. Great. So my question is, explain to us what the challenge is, really, why we are not able to account or government is not able to account for oil and gas revenue. Well, um, as Piag has reported earlier in his, his annual, um, semi-annual report 2020, we are unable to account for the amount in question because we have not received the relevant information from the Ministry of Finance in order to analyze and report to the citizens of Ghana. So we are not able to account because the ministry has has not been able or has failed to provide information that we have requested. Any explanation as to why the government, the Ministry of Finance, cannot provide that information? As at now, as we speak now, we have not had any official information from the ministry. Mm. Just to accept to say that we had requested on several occasions this information prior to releasing our report. Right. And we had an occasion where we even organized a validation meeting on our preliminary findings, which we shared with the ministry and other related institutions that report to PIAC. So we had this validation meeting and we made it known to everybody in that meeting that we are still waiting on the ministry's um, data in order to do our analysis and report to the people of Ghana as mandated by law. We okay. waited for the ministry. They committed to give us the information at some point. They, st they stated the date. We waited. It didn't come. We stayed on s several other days waiting for that. It didn't come. We, re mm. we prompted them. There was no response. So and we had no choice than to report. But again, uh this is not the first time it's happened. So we were not. Um, it's something that we have seen before, and we have seen it again. So just final question to you, um, if you could do it in a minute for us, what is at risk now that we don't have that information? What kind of risk are what we putting ourselves risk? in? The risk is that we are not able to know how much petroleum revenue has done for us, mm. at least for this portion of the year, which is an affront to accountability and transparency, which is, in fact, the bedrock of the whole Petroleum Revenue Management Act. It is built around the spirit of accountability, transparency for citizens of this country. And I think that is what is at risk now. At the moment, we are not aware. The citizens cannot tell. Okay. So it marks the whole idea of transparency and accountability. Thank you very much for highlighting this. Very worrying. Uh, Nobu Wajah there, Chairman of PIAC, uh, speaking to us. That's Business Life tonight. Thanks for watching.